what's up everyone welcome to the day two liberty video uh if you watched the one from day one you saw it went okay i guess uh ended up being in the c main even though i had quicker times than the first time we were here but the competition here is just off the charts for this race it's it's crazy how close everyone is uh with that being said we got a couple changes we're going to make try and be a little better try and get it to enter the corner a little better and rotate a little better in the center so hopefully we can pick up some more time with the way the uh, competition level is uh, for this race and everything, I think uh, I think if I could make it into a B main, that'd be awesome. So uh, I guess that's the goal. Try and make it into the B. Keep going forward. Uh, we'll see how this goes. So hope you enjoy the video. Turn it off now. 
was kind of a struggle, but uh, honestly, I had a lot of fun. I think it was a good time. Uh, we started off slow, like way slower than we were yesterday. So I don't know what happened between last night and today, but we lost a ton of time. Uh, we ended up finding some scales and making some pretty huge changes, some pretty huge weird changes, but uh, we picked up a ton of time. I ended up starting 15th in the B main and finished 8th, and uh, I ran my fastest laps of the weekend by a lot. Uh, I was only a 10th off of my uh, A main time from the race before, so I don't think that would have been good enough for the A main this time. There was a lot of, a lot of fast people here, a lot of big entries and big cart counts, but... We almost got back to where we were that first race, and I think that's good. I think that's really good, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, I also want to say thanks to uh, Mike and Jamie for the uh, LO206 stuff. That was a ton of fun. Uh, I qualified third. I led some laps. Uh, led my first laps ever at Liberty, so that was cool. Unfortunately, the tires didn't last. They uh, they went away, and they went away big, and uh, I was just kind of holding on. I could hear them squealing and everything else, but I ended up fifth, and uh, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, to qualify that good and to lead some laps and end up with a top five uh, is awesome. So I want to thank thank those guys, thank Mike and uh, for the yellow 206 and everyone that helped me with the, the clone stuff, uh, you know, Drew and Andy Keller and Kirsten, obviously, she's a huge help. She's everything, basically. Uh, you know, Gramps obviously helps some. Uh, everyone, I don't know. Too long, too long list, but... Uh, I don't know, kind of struggled a little bit this weekend, but kept making forward progress. And honestly, I, I had a lot of fun and I think that's what it should be all about. So we'll come back for the next one. Hopefully we can be a little better out of the gate than uh, we were this time, but we'll see. So hope you all enjoyed the videos and uh, we'll, we'll see you at the next Liberty. Okay, so here's why I'm going to consider this weekend a success, even though uh, maybe I was a little slower than I would have liked or whatever. But uh, the cart here is still in one piece. It's intact. The body's looking good. Nothing's bent, nothing's broken, nothing's missing. So, and I uh, walked out of there with $50 in winnings. So if any of you have been to Liberty or seen videos from Liberty or pictures or people's race recaps or whatever, you know that it's a uh, pretty rough and tumble place with some pretty, uh, what do I want to call it, aggressive driving and aggressive racing. So to leave there with everything still intact and $50 in winnings, I'm going to call it a success. Uh, that 50 bucks basically paid for my entries on Friday. I don't have to replace or repair a body. I don't have to replace or repair parts. We can just get this thing cleaned up, get it scaled, and uh, start working on our tires. And we're ready to go. So, yeah, big success this weekend, I'd say, just, just for the sheer fact that uh, nothing's destroyed. The way Liberty is, it's always kind of a crapshoot. You can walk out there, or you can walk out of there and be just fine or you can walk out of there with your cart in a box and it can be no fault of your own. It's a very tight, small and fast track and uh, things happen quickly and uh, that track closes up real quick when things go wrong. So all in all, I think it was a pretty solid weekend and uh, I'm ready to get back and try it again. So we'll see you all at the next race.